Hello friends, hope you are all having a wonderful day. Um, uh, welcome to another episode on A to Z Home and Garden with your Kalyan uh, and uh, hope you are liking my videos. If you are then please do uh, uh, subscribe, like, share and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications in a timely manner when I post new videos. So without further ado let's go into today's topic. So in today's topic I am going to show you uh, uh, how to uh, grow moringa tree from seed uh, and tips to grow it as a bush right from the seed stage um, and uh, before we go into the topic let's discuss the um, health benefits of moringa it's been ringing everywhere now uh, there's so much hype on moringa right now it's not hype it's real because moringa has 27 uh, vital vitamins amino acids and 40 antioxidants and this is called tree of life in africa because um, there have conducted re uh, researches in africa where people were short on vitamin c vitamin a uh, and uh, uh, and they were having all sorts of all, all kinds of uh, health issues and people were given uh, moringa leaf powder uh, and uh, they saw um, tremendous improvement in their health no wonder it's called a miracle tree uh, and also uh, in in uh, uh, third world countries this um, moringa seeds are used uh, to filter um, water uh, it is the best uh, purification source uh, for them and uh, and it's also used uh, for arsenic poisoning it can reduce blood sugar uh, it can take care of your liver and it has all kinds of benefits and uh, the list goes on and on so now let me show you uh, how to um, start it from seed so this is a very fast growing plant um, this is a plant that i planted about uh, 30 days ago uh, you, if you have not uh, I mean I've uh, sh uh, shown you uh, uh, a video I've made a video on how to uh, start from seeds and uh, after 30 days this is the growth I didn't put it in the ground yet because Texas uh, weather has been acting a little weird this year uh, it's it's end of uh, April and uh, temperatures are still hitting uh, low 60s so uh, and this is a th this plant has been planted like i said 30 days ago and if you see there's only one stock right so if you want a bushy plant from this beginning what you do is you have to after one weeks of growth right one, once it grows about this level i just want uh, did an experiment here uh, for, to show you after one week of sprouting what you do is you cut off the head this is exactly what i did to this plant if you see this is the main shoot that came up when when i uh, when it sprouted okay so what i did is mercilessly i cut off the head some people think it's going to die it's not this is a very resilient uh, plant it it, it it lives forever i mean you it's hard to kill a moringa tree even i mean if it has one percent of its roots it's going to shoot shoot up again so many people so what i did is i took off the head if you see and what it did it put out two new shoots it is uh, it, it comes back with vengeance sometimes you get even three 90 percent of the time this happens only 10 percent of the time it's going to put only one shoot so that depends that yeah uh, um, um, i i've always had success like this and once it grows about uh, once i put it in the ground and grow about uh, one me i mean about one foot what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop off the heads again and from there you get another bush uh, a, a big bigger bush and do not hesitate to uh, trim off your uh, moringa um, heads it's okay the plant is not going to die it will uh, shoot back uh, shoots uh, 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 multiple shoots from where you cut it off if you are growing moringa for its uh, leaves the leaves right now go for like 10.99 a pound uh, uh, so if you're going growing it uh, only for its leaves then i would say uh, uh, feed it more nitrogen and less of uh, 
phosphorus and potassium okay and if you are growing it for its fruits feed it less nitrogen after the plant has reached about two to three foot uh, and in no time it's going to reach that uh, once the temperatures are increased and it's a sun loving plant and it needs well drained soil basically it does uh, good in any any type of soil okay uh, but uh, well drained is more uh, i mean more what you need and uh, you if you are looking for the fruit right feed it low nitrogen and more of phosphorus and potassium and if you are looking for uh, overall benefits both i mean um, fruit and uh, uh, the uh, uh, leaves uh, then you give it a 10 10 10 fertilizer and don't overfeed it you can burn the uh, burn the roots uh, don't overfeed it i would say give it give it uh, every three weeks you want to give it two tablespoons but if it's in the ground i would say uh, depending on the uh, stem size you want to calculate uh, about uh, but don't overfeed it because the, when you overfeed it the area uh, is uh, uh, is going to be saturated with salts and that is going to burn the roots and kill it so don't do it uh, i've seen uh, people i mean if you are if, if you're organic right um, i would say go with the fish emulsion or uh, any uh, anything that adds micronutrients to it um, and uh, rich uh, rich in uh, fertilizer that is rich in iron and uh, calcium because these uh, these uh, leaves even have calcium in it amazingly that's about the care you do uh, and once my plant hits about what, two or three foot i'm going to show you i'm going to make another video on how i'm going to take care of it so um, i will walk you to the uh, through the process but until then i'm not going to feed it much um, uh, until it sets to one, about one or two foot and these can easily be grown in pots and uh, in ground uh, in ground they are not going to come back every year i know uh, and uh, i start them from seed every year and it uh, within we have six months of uh, uh, growing season here in uh, north texas so uh, i mean that's enough to uh, for the plant to grow and set uh, uh, fruit uh, so yeah that's about it uh, in this video so friends if you are liking my videos uh, please do subscribe like and share with your friends and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications uh, when i post new videos thank you all for your support and i will catch up with you in the next video thank you